Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraftastic and I am back to work in my everyday planner. We're getting close to the end. I know I keep saying that. But anyway, the everyday planner is a B6 Stalogy in a B6 notebook cover by Moterm. This is how full we are. Got the tabs on the side, tabs at the top. I don't know how I'm going to set up for 2024. Um, I know a lot of people are already set up and ready to go, but I got to make it through the end of the year. So I'm not ready. Um, so I'm going to do daily pages again. This is what I'll be working with. I have the script stickers, day of the week stickers that are available to Scrapcraftastic patrons, depending on your level of membership. I have some leftovers from Coco's Vision. And I know a lot of people don't like non-traditional Christmas things, but this is going to be a non-traditional Christmas. This is the week of my birthday. I wanted to make a birthday kit and I still may make one. Uh, I had a little request for that. So I still may make one. I just don't really have any specific ideas. So if you have any ideas of things you would like to see in a Christmas type uh, birthday sticker, planner sticker kit, let me know in the comments. Okay. So this is Xmas Eve or Christmas Eve from Let's Get Planned. And I thought it was suitable. And I know I've used a lot of teal this year so far, but I guess it's going to just keep going because I'm using this. It's teal, pink and gold. It's really pretty. And I also pulled out uh, Pastel Christmas. It's a hot buy sticker book from Michaels from 2020. So it has pinks and then it has the baby winter blue colors in it. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and put down all my days of the week. And it's kind of chilly here today. Wind is still blowing strong. So this would be a sheet finish. Now, if you like to like lay out your stickers, um, decide, pull out stickers from various books, and you know get everything set up before you work on your planner spread when you finish a sheet like this if you do printables you can keep the backing this one is pretty good it didn't doesn't have too many places where the blade cut through the backing um you can just remove this white space let me show you if i can get the stickers off Like if you want to just kind of do a, a mock-up layout of the stickers that you want to use, all you'd have to do is remove the excess sticker off of this sheet. And you can use this as a way to organize and lay out your stickers. You can make a book with this. This might not come off neatly, but you get a general idea. You can make a, a notebook with the sheets. I actually have one that someone sent me in Happy Mail that they made and I really do need to come up with a way to make it easy for you to make at home if you don't have all the tools. So I mean there's a few p bits and pieces on here but this is a good sticker backing paper. You can fold it like this, punch here, put in your notebook and use it to put extra stickers on. Kind of like I did with the release papers that I shared previously. That is a way you can organize your stickers when you get ready to plan or store excess stickers. Okay, moving right along. Did I lose Sunday? I lost Sunday. There it is, it fell. Okay. So we're gonna do the inside this week. <gasps> now I did all of that, I forgot what I pulled to do. I have all of these washies that are from Simply Gilded, all of these, that go great with the kit. And then I have this one as well. I think this is from Michaels. This is one of those washies that has the backing on it. So let's, let me go ahead and put down the washi. I thought I was gonna do that before I turned on the camera, but I guess I changed my mind. So I guess I'm gonna use this as an example to put these here while I do this because I shouldn't have pulled them off so soon. I'm not placing them down really well or in or neatly, but 
that's a good way to hold it for now. All right, let's do this. That's a lot of washi, but that just goes to show you, I could stop right there, you know, put my dates and my um, days of the week and have a beautifully designed spread, I think. So you can get a lot out of your washi tape. At least that's what I think, okay? So yeah, this would make a beautiful spread just by itself. But you know, I have to do more. So <laughs> let's do more. Um, I am going to put my days of the week like this. Oops, got these on top of each other. So this time, usually I would do this, split it. I think I'm just going to go down the column. Or should I make Sunday its own page? Uh, decisions. I probably should have did this a little differently. Let's see. Can I get these back? All right. I should have did this differently because I think I do want to have a day for every. I mean, I think I do want to have a page for every day, which means this needs to be blank, which means I need to move all my days of the week over. So let's get the heating tool and see if I can move these. All right, so let's start this differently. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. So Monday. All right, let's do the washi for these. The reason I'm doing this is because I do want a full page for Sunday since it is Christmas Eve. I did tear the paper a little bit right there. I'll see if I can fix it. The Christmas tree washi tapes are super duper sticky and they easily tear the paper. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do on this page, so I'm just gonna not worry about it. This Monday is down crooked. I'm not gonna worry about that either. So I am going to use some of these leftover hand lettered numbers that I have um, to date these pages and they're going to be different sizes, but that's not an issue. I'm going to do 24th here, 23rd here, and that's fine. They're together. So the rest that will be different sizes, it won't really matter because they will all be smaller. So this is the week of the 18th through the 24th. And let's see, do I have a 22? If not, I can just make a 22, but I have a 22. And that is why you don't throw away your leftovers and your stragglers. Even if I can't use it here, I could use it in journaling 
if I wanted to. That looks so horrible. I'll have to fix it. Um, yeah, okay, so we're all dated, right? Let's work on this page first because I need to fix that. Let's get some contrast. Oops. Let's see if I can straighten it up a little bit more. Probably should have put a real piece of tape on it. Let's use this. Oop, I forgot to put the other washi. Why y'all didn't tell me? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. It's supposed to be something else there. Let's do it. Quickly, quickly, because... I've made a plethora of mistakes already. There we go. I'm going to use this tree over here. Like that. Because I definitely want to use these stickers. I'm going to use this bow, if I can get it here or here. How do I want to do that? Hold up. Let's check Calva Plan, Plan of Words. Okay. So birthday, and let's use a celebrate as well. That's Calva Plan, Plan of Words. Probably shouldn't put that there, but then I'm gonna put the bow there. Okay. Um, maybe not. Cause I also want to use a box. So let's put it here. There we go. Okay. Then let's use another one of these floral pieces. From Let's Get Planned. I do have a discount code for Let's Get Planned. It will be in the description box below along with the link to their website. So y'all know I don't like to use the same doll more than once. However, I'm going to do it this time. Because they're daily pages, it's not like they're right next to each other. So... So I'm going to use both of these. I'm using her on Monday because that's how I feel on Monday. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do that there, but maybe not. Let's, let's see. All right, so there, and then I guess I'll use the other one on Monday. Guess I'll put the tree there. I'm gonna use this deer, reindeer, here. I guess I can use the wreath where? Here. This finishes that sheet. I'm oh, not really crazy about the little teddy bear thing. We'll put him here. All right, let's look at what stickers we have in here. So I don't want to use any of the blue or the multicolor. I want to stick with the pink, pinkity pink. It's this merry and bright one sticker. Yeah, so let's put that here. Break up some of this pink. That's too big to do two. Let's use one of these checklists on Monday. Let's use this all is calm, all is bright. I can use some of my pastel boxes or my gray boxes. Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. Ooh, that's cut way wrong. Okay, so that takes care of that page. 
Let's use one down here for celebrating. Then got something that's happening on Thursday. Let's use the gray. I'm going to use this kind of checklist on a Friday because that's when the cooking unofficially begins. It's already pretty much began, but unofficially. Saturday. And then let's do one on Sunday. Okay. I think I'm done with those. Let's use him here. Let's do happy holidays. Due to the season to be jolly, even though you can't read the jolly. <laughs> So let's use some of the deco from the kit. Let's use a little pink one. All right, finish that sheet. I don't think I want to use the pine cones in <laughs> that text. So I guess I'll hold on to that sheet or I'll put it in my leftover sticker book. Okay, Whew. that was a lot. So let me go on and put down the weekly tasks. Let's see, laundry day. This finishes up this post office run sheet. We got a trash day. I don't think I need anything else from there. Let's use one of these. So I think I'll be doing my running of the errands on Friday instead of Saturday. Got a doctor's appointment. I really don't like to have to go to a doctor's appointment the day after my birthday. I kind of should have made sure that I had nothing to do for the week, but I didn't plan it properly. But next year, I will not have any appointments for the month of December at all. I've learned my lesson. Okay. Planning. I'm going to put it on Sunday. Not sure that I'm going to be able to do it on Sunday. And then we got payday is here. Um, I'm just going to put it. Well, I didn't plan that very well. I'll just put it right here. And then payday here. All right, so that's the end of that sheet. I think we are good. I got a lot going on on these pages. That was a lot of stickers. I wanted to use them all. I think it's suitable for a birthday spread, even though it doesn't scream birthday. I think it works. Let me know what you think. So many pages. So that's what it looks like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Probably can trim that, but I'm not going to stress it. 
uh yeah let me know what you think in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye